Welcome to the North Coast Imports blog. Today we're going to talk about how to open and set up uh, your new German uh, cuckoo clock from North Coast Imports. Our main cuckoo clock suppliers include Rombach and Haas in Germany, Sternreiter in Germany, and Hubert Hare in Germany. So uh, this instruction for setup should apply to just about any of those. Um, there's some variation here and there. Be sure and check out your instructions that come with the clock. But this is our best seller one day cuckoo clock from Sternreiter. Uh, and I'll be going over the setup and unpacking of that today. So to begin, this is uh, the box that most of the clocks come in. Uh, it's pretty easy to open. They just open from the side here and open up. Some of the boxes are brown and have uh, are taped shut. When you open those, uh, they'll have a seam going up the middle. When you open those, be sure it's best not to use a knife um, because you don't want to mar any of the contents inside. Uh, and it's usually paper tape uh, and easily opened with just your fingernail or a pen. If you use a pen, maybe use the uh, the dull side to break the tape open uh, and open it up. So again, so you don't cut any of the materials inside. But anyway, this is a non-taped box, so it's very easily opened. So inside we have the instructions uh, and our new cuckoo clock from Sternreiter, uh, direct from Germany. This one is a model 1200 from Sternreiter. Sternreiter. Uh, it's a common or best-selling uh, one-day cuckoo clock. Take a look at the instructions first uh, and read through it. That's always helpful to get to know right off the bat. Um, there's instructions in the front. Um, and then some pictures at the end and also uh, most common errors when installing a cuckoo clock. So make sure you look over those at the end. For more tips, you can also follow our blog, uh, which you can get to directly at germanclocks.org um, or through our website at northcoastimports.com. Uh, there's all kinds of helpful information there and extra tips on installing and uh, extra care uh, so your clock will last a good long time and also follow us on Twitter uh, twitter.com slash NC imports N-C-I-M-P-O-R-T-S uh, so you'll be sure to get lots of fun tips about uh, our products and um, horology in general so here's our clock then you'll need the weights these are what power the clock. This one has two, uh, and it's a one-day model. If you have an 8200, which is the eight-day model, they'll be uh, a little larger. And if you have a musical or a quail model, there'll be three of them. So be sure you have all of the weights. And here in the back of the box, there's uh, the top piece and pendulum. So you'll need those. That's everything in the box, but be sure to save the box in case there's any trouble, if there's any reason you may need to send the clock back to your dealer for some reason, you'll want to keep the box. And be sure not to write on it or destroy it in any way. Keep it in good shape. And if you do have to send the clock, remember that this is not a shipping carton. You can see that uh, the walls are very thin and there's not really any packaging material. So if you do ship this clock anywhere to friends or, f or family or whatever reason, you're going to need another box outside of this with three to four inches of packing, uh, soft packing in every direction. Bubble wrap is uh, usually the best packing you can get. Put that aside for now. There's our clock. So the first step, um, I suppose, the only tool you'll need uh, to set up a clock is a um, is a pen or a pencil. So go ahead and open up the back. You want to move this uh, thing here out of the way. Um, some clocks will have a little indentation here where you can stick in a pen or a pencil and pry it open. This one has uh, two holes so that you can stick your fingers in and pull it out. Open it up. There's inside the clock. 
first thing, take this paper out. The paper doesn't really protect anything, it just keeps the gong quiet uh, when you're shipping it so that it doesn't make a sound when it's rattling around. But if the paper doesn't have to happen to be in there or if the paper got loose somehow, um, your, prop your clock probably isn't damaged because it's not really doing any protecting of the clock. That's the back piece. Inside you have two uh, orange pieces of paper here that say pull out. Sometimes these are green. Um, if you, Some of our larger musical models have these are the bellows. They would both be on one side and there'll be just one of these holding both closed. In this case, uh, the most common case, there's one of each. Now these are the bellows. These are what make the sound um, for your call. These are the wooden whistles here and these uh, on top of the bellows that pump air through the whistles that make the sound of the cuckoo. So we'll pull those out so that the bellows can open. Then uh, one other thing you can take while we have it open you can take this um, pendulum leader and just pull it down. Make sure that pendulum leader is sticking through that slot on the bottom. That should, you should be able to see that pendulum leader stick through. And another thing to check while you have it open is if you can see here, this is the tail of the cuckoo bird, and there's a wire coming off of the left, usually the left bellow. And that wire should be underneath the tail of the cuckoo bird, not on top of the tail. So if it's on top, you'll just have to do a little, get your skinny fingers in there and figure out a way to get this wire underneath the tail of the bird. There's more information on that on our blog, so be sure and check out closer, better pictures. Um, so if you have that issue, make sure and check our blog. Right now we'll just concentrate on getting your clock up and running. So took the two pieces out, we took the paper out, now we can put the top piece back. There is a groove on the bottom of the clock and a lip on the bottom of the uh, uh, back piece. So that goes on bottom into the lip like so, fits like that, and then give it a whap, a light, a light touch and it'll seal up here. Move the tab back to keep it locked. On the front there is a little wire here, a little latch holding the cuckoo door shut. We can move that out of the way, just push it to the left. 